Hi everyone, this is Corey Weathers. I just wanted to jump in and say a huge thank you to so many of you who have supported and left amazing reviews for my book, Military Culture Shift. I'm excited to share that the limited series leadership podcast by the same name created to supplement the book is about to launch on February 15th. My hope is that it brings the book to life in a multi-sensory way that breathes life into your home, your leadership, and validates some of your story. Episodes will start on February 15th and roll out weekly, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them and have picked up the book if you haven't. I have fantastic interviews with experts and leaders, many of them mentioned in the book. Also, I'm encouraging you ahead of time to listen all the way to the end of each episode for powerful songs written and performed by veterans, military spouses, and even Gen Z military teens. I've so enjoyed lifting up our community and hope you will feel lifted as well. And now here's a new trailer of what's to come. So significant shifts in military culture have created a complex set of challenges impacting morale, recruitment and retention. Things should not be this hard. It should not be possible to literally lose all of your stuff when you move. It should not be possible to live in housing that is so full of mold, everybody's sick, while everybody on the military housing side gaslights you and says it's your imagination. Facing big recruitment challenges, the Air Force missed its recruitment goal this year for the first time since 1999. The Army has fallen short of that goal by nearly a decade. The Navy also fell short by 13,000 recruits this year. And these are just some examples of a growing crisis. Things are only going to change if we are a part of it. We have to be a part of that tidal wave. It has to be infectious. And we have to exhibit leadership as we do that because it's important. We can't have conversations about an all-volunteer force unless we're really willing to have those tough discussions. So Gen Z demands more. They demand that transparency, that extra layer of understanding. Are their leaders really telling the truth? So it becomes sort of a harder world, right? It becomes a more clear, necessary world, but that's the world that Gen Z requires and demands. Um, and so you really need to be real with Gen Z. Americans' confidence level in the U.S. military stands at 60%, the lowest it has been since 1997. People are leaving in droves. I mean, there is an exodus happening, and we're missing our numbers in double digits. This is a leadership issue. I don't even know that we can solve it from the inside if I'm being completely candid. I think it might be that it has to be solved from, you know, like Congress. So you could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. The other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep who feed hurt it easy. You don't wanna be fast asleep on this evening. Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me. When they try the chains, you can say no, free me. Get ready for a new limited series leadership podcast launching early 2024 based on the book, Military Culture Shift, the impact of war, money, and generational perspective on morale, retention, and leadership. My name is Corey Weathers. I'm an author and military consultant, and I'm inviting you to join me as we explore topics and theories from experts in government, leadership, and politics, as well as real stories of service members and families throughout two decades of war. Listen in and let me tell you the story of the people you think you know, but could know better.